What is good, everyone? And today we are gonna be doing an oil change for this 2020 Toyota Corolla SE. And if you guys can tell by the camera, yes, I got a new phone. Finally, I finally upgraded. Uh, it took me a while because I had to save up and everything like that and put money to the side for it. But either way, we're gonna go ahead and try to do an oil change for this car. So this is actually my first time working on a Corolla. Is very unique or stressful in the sense. So this engine requires a 016 type of oil and it was stupidly hard to find one so i decided to go with a zero zero twenty um i had to do some research to see if it's actually okay um but uh, before the dealership my last oil change with the dealership they put 520 in it and made the engine feel very sluggish and excelling on the freeway was very slow so hopefully other than uh, you know uh zero sixteen zero twenty will kind of help with it and um it's advanced fuel economy but this one's like for hybrid vehicles but this is literally the only one that i could find so it's best bet it's still okay either way so let's get right into it all right the car is finally all jacked up and just make sure you guys uh, have your e-brake up this is the e-brake it's stupid i know but this game this seems a little sus but we're gonna go ahead and loosen this engine cap right here so it could cool a little bit better and it has better airflow when we drain it. I am so freaking annoyed. I haven't opened up this toolbox in like three or four months and my main ratchet is missing and I can't even find it in my toolbox. All right, so when you go underneath the car, you can go to this portion of this section and there's gonna be four screws that you have to unscrew in order to remove that freaking panel in order to get access to the oil pan right here. Oil filter is right there and then the drain plug is right there. So it's pretty simple that how to get to this is very, very easy. For the drain plug, you're gonna be using a 14 millimeter socket. So I'm gonna be using it on the brake bar because the ratchet is too short, no leverage whatsoever, but we're gonna be using this for the oil filter. So it's good to have one of these. All right, the oil filter is out. We just gotta put in a new one. Wow, that thing's hot. So yeah, everything looks good. I accidentally spilled some oil, but that's okay. But we're gonna put in the new oil filter, the new oil, and then we should be set. And then we're gonna reset the uh, odometer. <laughs> we're gonna reset the odometer. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So we're gonna be placing the oil inside the engine. So let's say you don't know how to measure it or you don't know how to measure the quartz. What you guys can do is that you guys can measure it by the dipstick. There you go. Let's first clean this. So we're gonna look at the dipstick right now. So if you guys can see those two dots right there. So just make sure you guys don't go past the second one and then you guys should be fine. So the average uh, oil that you guys need to put in your engine is mainly you have to keep it between the first dot and the second dot, just at the middle. So if you, if you guys got it up to the first dot, that's kind of pretty too low. So you guys have to put in more. So, but if you guys get in the middle, it's good. If you guys get to the second one, that's okay. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend it, but it's just best to go a little bit to the middle or a little bit right there. So just keep it between those two dots. So how you guys gonna do it is just basically just fill, stop, check, oil level, and then do it again. If it's too low, pour more. If it's too much, stop right there. And then just go ahead and just put this back in and you guys should be fine. So if it's just a little bit over, you guys should be fine. Alrighty, so that is a perfect level of oil. And you can go ahead and then just put the dipstick back. I'm trying to do it in one hand right now. There you go. And there you go. Just to the side, put this on the ground actually. Put this side, I don't want to spill it. Just in case I need to top off. There you go. So normally this engine takes 4.4 .4 quarts. Uh, I only put four uh, based on the level of the dipstick. So, and that, let's go ahead and turn on the car, check if there's any oil leaks underneath from the oil filter or the drain plug.
All right, everything seems good. So we're gonna put back the, um, what was it? What was that thing called again? The uh, undercarriage cover. And then we're just gonna put the car down, reset the odometer, and then just go for a test drive. That's a reset, the maintenance light that's popping up. So we're gonna press this. Alrighty, and then we're gonna be mainly using these, uh, this control right here. So I'm gonna move my phone right here so you guys can see. So you're gonna move to the right, uh, go to the settings, go to vehicle settings. Well, actually you have to hold it. And then go to select maintenance and press yes. And then reset is complete. And that's pretty much it. And then press back. So yeah, we're good to go. And let's go for a test drive. And if anything, you know, comes up or anything like that, it should, there, well, I mean, there shouldn't be. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it's a short video. I know it's kind of completely random, but I, I this is my first time working on the Corolla and I just want to see how it feels.